The rescue hook is invaluable to all rescue and emergency services. Paramedics, firefighters, prison officers, police officers, lifeboat crews, air sea rescue, hazmat and decontamination personnel, military and special forces, When speed and safety are critical, they reach for the knife that saves lives. The rescue hook is in service worldwide and has been instrumental in the saving of many lives. It will cut through practically any material and cope with all situations where emergency and rescue services personnel have an urgent need to release either themselves or another person from an entanglement, restraint or ligature. The rescue hook is manufactured in Sheffield, England and carries the IXL mark, a world-renowned symbol of knife-making excellence since 1787. Its deeply curved, hook-like blade and razor-sharp serrations have been scientifically designed and manufactured from 420 stainless steel. It will efficiently cut through webbing, rope and lines, rubber, electrical flex, leather and clothing without any risk to the rescuer or rescuee. Its unique T-form tang construction makes it virtually indestructible and strong enough to be used as a grapple or grab to pull an object or person away from danger. As an optional extra, the rescue hook can be supplied fitted with a steel punch window breaker, ideal for police, firefighters and paramedics. The rescue hook's non-slip handle is specially molded in durable polypropylene and is available in three colours to identify its different tactical and rescue roles. An all-black version of the rescue hook is also available and is currently in service with special forces on covert operations. There are three carrying systems available for the rescue hook. For personal issue, there's the duty belt pouch and the shoulder pouch. Both these pouches are manufactured from heavy-duty black ballistic nylon with ABS inserts to protect the blade and have either belt loop or Velcro fixings. The stainless steel wall-mounted quick response bracket is ideal for fixing to a wall or the bulkhead of a vehicle, boat or aircraft allowing the rescue hook to be safely snatched for immediate use. It's essential to understand how to use the rescue hook safely and efficiently. Although it's been designed with safety in mind, it's still a knife and is extremely sharp. It will not pierce or puncture, but if handled or used in an inappropriate manner, it will cut the skin. Keep fingers away from the sharp edge of the blade and its serrations at all times. Never hook the blade over any exposed or unprotected part of the body. If the rescue hook has a steel punch window breaker, it should have the rubber safety cover fitted over the punch at all times when not in use.
The rescue hook should always be kept in a designated secure place in its pouch or its quick response bracket. The most efficient and safe method of cutting through any material is to hold the handle in a firm grip with the blade at approximately 30 degrees to the material being cut. The cut should be started by using the serrated section of the blade. Draw the blade down so that the material ends up in the belly of the hook hard against the razor edge. At this point, full force can be exerted pulling the edge through the material while maintaining a constant pressure and cutting angle. One such action is all that should be necessary on most occasions. However, with very tough or thick materials, it may be necessary to repeat the process until the release has been achieved. Remember, standard operational procedures are crucial in all emergency and rescue situations. For example, one of the most critical is that of cutting a ligature to release a victim at a possible crime scene where SOPs would be as follows. 1. Summon help. Request emergency medical assistance. 2. If safe, enter area as first aid. 3. If a ligature has been used, support the victim Cut the ligature between the anchor point and the knot. Place the victim's body on their back on a solid surface. Cut the ligature and try to preserve the knot. This may be needed for forensic evidence. 4. Check for signs of life. Airways, breathing and circulation, or ABC. 5. If the victim is not breathing, commence CPR. Continue until emergency services arrive. 6. Record the time of discovery. 7. Keep a record of all people entering the area. 8. Preserve evidence. 9. Do not tamper with anything in the area. 10. Await further instructions. All blades, after extensive use, will eventually become dull and require sharpening. A small sharpening steel is available for this purpose. The method is comparatively simple and only takes a few moments. Hold the rescue hook by the handle parallel to the floor. With gentle pressure, run the sharpening steel around the blade from the serration to the tip. Two or three times is all that should be necessary to remove any burrs from the edge. Keep the angle of the steel the same as that of the sharpened edge. Repeat this process on both sides of the blade. Wipe the sharpening steel after use to remove steel particles. The rescue hook can be washed under a hot tap with household detergent. Ensure that fingers are kept away from the cutting edge of the blade. It should be thoroughly dried with a clean cloth or tissue before being returned to its pouch or secure area. If it's been contaminated with blood, other bodily fluids or any chemical or biological hazardous substance, the rescue hook has the advantage of being certified to medical devices directives and HTM 2030 and can be fully decontaminated and sterilized for further use. When speed and safety are critical, reach for the rescue hook, the knife that saves lives.